There are so many dead pretending to live amongst us now, who belong to a church hidden behind a harvest of hate, which takes us in and blinks us out with ignorant eyes, and condemn us for lying together in the tombs of our beds. While their savior hangs from nails displayed on hollow walls, and our sacrifices are left to hang on fences, leading rivers of glory to wash away the sins of their world. This prejudice is the pain that clouds my eyes and knots my spine, the scars on the back of my head, engraved by those who reach out open arms, bloodied with hypocrisy, lost dreams, and intangible mantras. Those who haunt our daily prayers with the sounds of oppression to silence our shepherds with death because death equals dreams never to be heard of again and our prophets get no maps to salvation. But the wind will not inherit the echoes of our souls. We will not leave our canvas with unfinished colors or remain the uninvited children of a lesser God. We will ground our bare feet with toes and soil, listen for the wind chimes and the insanity of life like candles for our brothers and sisters from the west side highway piers of New York City to the farmlands of Laramie, Wyoming to the Castro streets of San Francisco and feel the closest we can to heaven because true love has no boundaries and our angels have wings too.